All right, what's up, guys? Brian here, and this is my WWE TLC event review for tonight's event. Uh, I'm going to get get right into the review and give my thoughts on TLC as far as the entire event is concerned. Uh, I thought I thought that this show was actually pretty good, considering that you know two days ago we found out about two big changes to two big matches. Uh, with Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt being pulled out, and Styles and Kurt Ang AJ Styles and Kurt Angle being put in their place. Uh, so a lot of questions is how the the event was going to turn out, um, and I thought it actually turned out pretty good. So let's just get right into the review. Uh, we started off with the kickoff show, um, which was Sa Sasha Banks taking on Alicia Fox. This was a bit of a rematch from this past Monday Night's Raw. Um, I know I, I believe I had picked Alicia Fox to win this one, but that was not the case. Uh, this was actually a pretty good physical matchup between these two, but in the end, it was Sa Sasha with the bank statement uh, picking up the win on the kickoff show. Uh, they did cancel uh, Drew Gulak's PowerPoint um PowerPoint d discussion, whatever it was, some kind of segment they were going to have involving Drew Gulak, but they ch they canceled that, so that did not happen on the kickoff show. Uh, the main show itself, uh, we did see a crowning of a new champion, and I'll get into that in just a moment. Uh, one match that was added to this uh, to this show, um, even though they kind of built up to it throughout the show. Uh, tonight was Jason Jordan taking on Elias. Uh, a little bit of controversy in that matchup, um, and I'll get into um, my thoughts on that in a minute. Uh, but we started off with the debut of Asuka. She took on Emma in a pretty, uh, pretty solid match. Uh, Emma, of course, you know, Emma, of course, winning this opportunity a few weeks ago on Raw, winning a fatal five-way elimination match. Um, and she brought some good offense to Asuka, but once again, Asuka proving what made, has, what made her so dominant in NXT. Uh, she locked in the Asuka lock, and that was pretty much it for Emma. Emma tapping out, tapped out, and Asuka picked up her first victory on the main roster at TLC tonight. Um, we saw the Cruiserweights in action in a tag team match. It was Brian Kendrick and Jack Gallagher taking on Rich Swan and Cedric Alexander. This was actually a pretty good tag team match. Um, I thought it, you know, I thought it was going to be a good tag team match. It was a pretty good tag match between four of the top Cruiserweights. Uh, a lot of story into this one. You know, ha happening over the la that has happened over the last couple of weeks on 205 Live. Um, but this was actually a pretty good tag match. Uh, Swan and Alexander scored the win uh, just like I thought they would. Um, so, big victory for those two. Uh, we saw the Raw Women's title on the line. It was Mickey James challenging Alexa Bliss. Uh, Mickey James look looked to make history tonight at TLC, becoming the Women's champion for a seventh time, uh, tying the record with Trish Stratus. But that was not the case as Alexa Bliss with the DDT after sending Mickey into the um, corner, uh, corner buckle and hitting the DDT. And Alexa Bliss, still your Raw Women's champion, uh, obviously. You know, who's going to be next to challenge Alexa Bliss for the Raw Women's title? We'll have to wait and see. And, of course, what's next for Mickey James after this? This uh, big loss tonight. So, a lot of questions going into tomorrow night's Raw as far as the Raw Women's title is concerned. Uh, we saw Enzo Amore challenging Kalisto for the Cruiserweight title. Uh, once again, just like uh, Enzo did at No Mercy when he won the title from Neville uh, using a dirty tactic. Um, I 
um, he had uh, he blinded Kalisto, I believe it was, if I remember correctly, it was a poke to the eye or something like that, um, and hit the uh, Kajet, Kajet, Cadenzo, Cadenzo, I'm I'm sorry if I'm butchering his finishing move. Um, that eat the feet move that he does, um, and became the new cruiserweight champion. So Enzo Amore, for the second time in his career, is a is a two-time cruiserweight champion in what was an okay matchup, to, in my opinion. Uh, in perhaps the match of the night. Just like I had thought of, thought it was going to be, it was AJ Styles versus Finn Balor, Demon Balor, and this one I thought was an amazing matchup. Both of these guys, you know, very very good, like you know, very great in the ring, as far as in ring work, and they delivered tonight. Um, even before the match the matchup even started, people were chanting, "This is awesome." Uh, first time ever in a WWE ring that these two competed, and it, it was an amazing matchup. Finn Balor came out on top over AJ Styles with the coup de gras, and that was pretty much it for that matchup. Finn Balor defeated AJ Styles, of course Styles coming from SmackDown Live to, on very short notice, you know, flying out from South America to be in Minneapolis to compete tonight in TLC. That shows how much, you know, how much AJ Styles, you know, loves competing. Um, and Finn Balor, he brought his A-game. AJ Styles brought his A-game. And Finn Balor walked out victorious. Uh, after the match, they did the too sweet uh, hand signal, hand gesture in the middle of the ring. So that was an amazing thing to see. Of course, you know, both guys, you know, were leaders of the Bullet Club in Japan. Um, I'm actually wearing, um, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm wearing a Bullet Club shirt of uh, Adam Page um, that you can come, that you can get at, at Hot Topic stores uh, nationwide. But both of these guys, Finn Balor, both guys, Finn Balor and AJ Styles, like I said before, leaders, former leaders of the Bullet Club in Japan, and they gave it. They gave the fans tonight at TLC a match that people probably will say they want to see re a rematch of. So Finn Balor victorious tonight over AJ Styles, and that was pretty much it for that matchup. Um, like I said before, we had an added match. It was Elias versus Jason Jordan. Uh, they kind of set this this one up throughout the night. Elias would be on the stage perform, trying to perform, trying to sing a song like he usually does. Uh, twice, Jason Jordan would come out with a shopping cart full of produce and start throwing it at Elias uh, until the point where this, that's how this match came about. Um, the reason I said earlier was that this one had a bit of controversy because at the end of the match, or near the end of the match, uh, Jason Jordan rolled up uh, uh, Elias in a small package but uh, and got the, got the win. He got the pinfall win, but the referee uh, did not see Elias' right shoulder come up where he was, um, and they showed it on the replay that Elias, in fact, got his was had his shoulder up. So I could see this being a, a rematch tomorrow night on Raw between these two. Um, so Jason Jordan scoring a big victory in a controversial fashion over Elias tonight at TLC, which brings us to the main event. It was a five-on-three handicap TLC match that I am um, that saw such an you know so, so many incredible um, moments in the match um, we had it was uh, Seth Rollins Dean Ambrose and Kurt Angle replacing Roman Reigns taking on Miz the Intercontinental Champion Sheamus Cesaro Mi or Kane 
and Braun Strowman. And you want to talk about action? I mean, there was none bigger than this matchup. Um, Angle came out with Rollins and Ambrose, like the Shield uh, had full Shield gear. Uh, came through the crowd. They came through the crowd. And they went right to work at the beginning of the match, um, taking the fight to all five guys. Um, and um, they took out, or Ambrose and Rollins took out uh, Kane and, and Strowman. They put them, they put them on the top on the two announce tables at ringside, and they dove off two ladders to take out both of them, uh, but only for a brief while. And then, you know, Angle. Usually, you know, doing what he usually does, he hit, he hit uh, the German suplexes on Miz, hit him on uh, Sheamus, hit it on Cesaro. Uh, then, you know, Ambrose and Rollins, they were still down, but then, you know, Kane got back up. He would, you know, he would try to uh, take out, um, he went after Angle. Strowman went after Angle. Strowman actually took Angle out of the matchup for a brief moment, hitting a running power slam through a table. Uh, a lot of question coming into this match as to what kind of you know physical shape as well as you know uh, Kurt Angle would be in. You know they had to walk him out of the uh, to the backstage area. Uh, then it would lead to five on two with Rollins and Ambrose fighting for their lives. You know trying to fight off five guys. You know, Sheamus, Cesaro, Miz, Kane, and Strowman, they just took the fight to them. At uh, one point, uh, Kane was going to hit, um, I believe it was Rollins with a steel chair. Rollins got out of the way and it hit Strowman. So him and Kane kind of went at it a little bit uh, with Strowman pushing Kane. And this would kind of lead near the end to their downfall as, um, you know, Kane, they all ended up on the ramp. Um, Rollins, Ambrose, and the other, and Miz and, and his team, they would all end up on the ramp. Uh, Miz actually had a garbage truck brought out, uh, and they were going to put Rollins and Ambrose in, into the back of the garbage truck, but that was not the case. They fought out of it. Um, and then Strowman, when Rollins and Ambrose were double teaming Kane, would go after both of them. Kane would then turn on Strowman choke slam him through the stage, then would would reach up and pull a John Cena uh doing doing what he did to Wade Barrett, pulling a mound of chairs that were hanging from the ceiling, pulled them down and they landed on Strowman. Um and then he would go back to uh and choke slam Rollins and Ambrose through a table and then Strowman would get up and he would go after each member of his team until the point where uh, his uh, Miz, Kane, Cesaro, and Sheamus, they would just beat down uh, Strowman. They would put him in the gar back of the garbage truck, and the truck garbage truck would run, would uh, drive away. Uh, they then would bring the action back to the ring. Uh, long story short, Angle, Rollins, and Ambrose picked up the win after hitting a triple power bomb on the Miz. And that was pretty much it for that matchup. So, big victory for uh, Ambrose, Rollins, and Angle um, in that 5-on-3 TLC match. Um, my overall thoughts on the show, uh, for the changes that were made, I actually thought it was a pretty good, solid show. Um, I would recommend checking it out. Just, you know, this is only my opinion, but I would recommend checking it out for yourself to see how it was. Uh, so with that being said, um, I thought the show was pretty good. Can't wait to see what happens tomorrow night on Raw. So with that being said, if you guys watched uh, tonight's TLC event, let me know what you guys thought of it in the comments below. This has been my review of what took place tonight at TLC. As always, I am Brian, and thank you for watching.